Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Gauri Kuglani and I am currently working as an analytics consultant at NGT Data. And in this video, I am going to explain or I am going to share my journey. How did I enter analytics field and what made me enter? So let's get started. Watch the video till the end so that you get to know. Maybe if you can relate to my journey a bit of it and you can also learn how can you switch or transit from your journey to analytics. So let's get started. So I'll give you a bit of background. I've done my bachelor's of science in IIT. This is a three year course. And in this course, when I was working in the final year project, I was asked, uh, we were working on a machine learning project. So kind of that project made my inclination more towards data and how just from data we can predict so much. So that was my interest space at that time. So I thought this is a good field for me and I am interested more towards it rather than just coding and software development things. So I start, after graduation, I started looking for jobs. So due to COVID, very less companies were coming at our college. Due to this, I had to start finding off campus. Mm -hmm. And when I start finding off campus, I got a few analyst role, which I wanted. Like I got business analyst role, I got data analyst and then I got one and one. A role from one, one offer from Deloitte also. So when I when I entered Deloitte, we we were told like when I was interviewed, I was told that we are going to work on uh, a combination of your analytics mindset and the business understanding. So we need the collaboration of both the things, technical and functional. And exactly that's what I wanted. So when I entered, uh, we were given a 15 days of training in SAP ABAP. So I was not having any idea what SAP is and how does the future or career looks like in SAP domain. So I was, I completed the 15 days of training. And after that, I was allotted a project. So this is how in, in different consulting companies works or even service based company it works like you have, you, you get trained for a few months, for a few days. And then you are allotted a project based on your skill. So when I got a project allotment, I did not get my core ABAP project, but I was assigned project which was kind of um, data engineering work where we were we were getting the data from source system and we were consolidating the complete data and centralizing the data at one place. So that was the project. But when I started the project, I realized that this is also, of course, it was SAP only. But I realized that I am, I, I, I am interested more towards the Python and the other tools and technology space. And I don't belong here because I never even heard the name SAP before. And now I'm suddenly working in this field. So we had been concept in uh, Deloitte that you can just take things after your work like outside your work you can go for firm initiatives which is kind of internal work and there are a lot of projects going on based on different tech stack so you can so reach out to people network people ask them that i am interested in this area of work can i get some work in this area can i help you out in this so i started doing same along with my project of the data migration which was going on I started reaching out to people and trying to explain them what I know and what I can contribute. And likewise, I got to know, uh, I started working in a project which had Power BI SQL at that time. So uh, this opportunity I got and I was working along with my full-time project there. Full-time project means outside my project. So slowly, slowly, uh, after one year, the project was for one year, the data migration. I realized that I want to actually contribute in the real world, like the real client work project, which will help me to understand the process, how the, a real client world project works. Because the work which I was doing was the internal dashboards and internal work. So I thought maybe client impact would be a little different than what I am doing right now. So I just researched a bit i most i even texted so many people reached out to so many seniors that i am going to uh, my project is going to get over soon and i am available to take up new opportunities in terms of i don't want to continue working in sap i'll i'll i'm okay to move into power bi tableau and um, i'm i'm okay with predictive analytics because i have the experience so 
many people told me that we already have people we don't we are occupied we don't need anybody else right now and after doing this i realized that i am i was thinking in the wrong way analytics is not just about tools and technologies it's about the mindset how you apply your mindset to the data so i thought sap is also full about data so why not we just explore that in sap do we have something like this where i can apply my analytical mindset and i can get insights of it mm-hmm. so i just researched some more and i realized that there is a tool called sap analytics cloud which is exactly similar to power bi just they have a different component as planning so they are also a bi tool and planning tool and predictive also so i became really happy and i once i finished the old project so you know what happens is if you're in sap domain in deloitte it's easy to roam around sap but you have to step out from your complete erp zone which is enterprise resource planning zone it's very difficult because even though you have connections but they don't allow other erp other domain to come to there so it's just like you know you have to be in your and work you can take up the form initiative part but you can't take the project work so it's something like that i don't know how it works now but at that time like um, one and a half years back two years back it was like this so i reached out to people within scp that i am not comfortable in what i was doing right now because it was just data migration i want to move out I want to do something new and something interesting which i really enjoy so i uh, i met few people who said that yeah we have a tool called sap analytics cloud and you can start learning it so that at least when you get project you tell them that i have a good knowledge of sap analytics cloud so then i got into sap analytics cloud project and i was there until i left deloitte i was completely in that area along with that i was still doing the form initiative where i got to learn more about nlp also deep learning i contributed in such small small project which was like a month ten month and a half projects i was learning side by side on my own i was just upskilling myself so up till now the skills i i knew was sap analytics cloud the data migration which i did through central finance was a, a central finance project where we were migrating all the data to one place as a, a financial data and then i was able to, i was i was good in power bi and scripting python of course i was good plus there was in build scripting in sap analytics cloud which is kind of javascript but not exactly and that too i got to learn a lot and i, I got hands on practice on that so my python skills uh, got used here as a typescript like as a javascript that i am able to relate to things and i am able to solve problems uh, using scripting so overall i was uh, i was skilled with sec which is sap analytics cloud power bi nlp because i had form initiatives sql and python of course for the data cleaning and analysis purpose which was for form initiative i did not do in deloitte like i did not do in project client project it was form initiative now after this 3 years i was good with i was having my complete portfolio and the tech stack of complete bi profile and complete analytics of uh, complete analytics profile and predictive profile now i was able to apply to different different roles and i actually gave interview for many different roles like example one was completely data analyst no python uh, sorry no sap just python sql and excel i gave i i cracked it and uh, likewise i gave interview for amazon big four nielsen SLB. I gave many interviews after uh, moving out from Deloitte after three years, and you know because of working along with the projects in Deloitte and having that good bucket of uh, tech stack, which I was able to, which I was knowing that time, which helped me crack a lot of interviews. And then comes NTT data, where I am, I am working as SAP Analytics Cloud only. Along with this, I'm working on automation, AI, and excel so this is my main bread and butter these days and i am moving more towards predictive also because as new things are coming up that was how my complete journey was from uh, being sap uh, starting my career as sap for few months and then moving into complete analytics domain and i feel 
that was a really good decision which i made so see it's all depends upon you are you stuck at one place or you try to move out and try to f find the thing which you want to do so if at that time i would not have looked out and searched for different projects in deloitte i would never have gotten my analytics which i wanted always so i think it's in your hands how you want to uh, take your career ahead what you are liking what you are not liking you should know and you should not judge very early i at that time i was very as a newbie i was a 20 year old who just got into a big four trying to figure out things understanding that how will i do sap is this even a career for me and right now a part of sap and sap is my career and it's my bread butter like sac so tomorrow if somebody comes and tell ki uh, can you work on a tableau project i will be easily able to do because complete work which i'm doing right now it's about dashboarding reporting planning side uh, data scripting understanding the business side of it so complete portfolio is of analytics now so you know if you know one skill one tool or one thing in analytics it's very easy to transfer into other fields other tools so now Google Looker Studio will be easy transition. Power BI will be easy transition, and Tableau will be easy transition. I have done few work here and there in Power BI also as I joined in NTD, but the complete portfolio is SEC, which is SEP Analytics Cloud. Within that, I have we have scripting, we have different widgets to work around. We have uh, we have of course dashboards, charts. We have planning side. We have predictive side. All the things which comes in ssc we are catering to right now and it's a it's a really good experience because you 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 try to relate things more so yeah that was my journey and now we are we are soon going to transit into a the current business warehouse which we are using is on premise warehouse so we're going to soon move into on cloud warehouse where we have to completely work with sql to extract the data from the warehouse so that's the reason you know whenever you're learning anything don't feel that this learning won't be any of use in future because when you you can't connect dots seeing your future see your past and then you connect the dots that okay that skill helped me today so when i was not getting my python work i realized that when i was able to do the scripting and all i realized okay that scripting knowledge that logic is a bit of helping me here so that's how you connect your dots what i feel is switching completely from sap to power bi or just leaving behind all the sap things and just going to one tool is not what's happening in the current world today you you switch companies different companies are using different tools different tech stack you can't switch you can't keep your career static at one tech stack so you need to keep fluctuating for that and learn and learn process we always go on keep your horizon and mind open to absorb new things and to let go of old things if it's not necessary to keep in your brain so i would suggest if you are someone in maybe sales force in sap or in some different tech stack which is not exactly related to uh, analytics work find in that sales force itself find in that uh, area domain itself how can i use my analytics mind to projects or how can or do i have some portfolio or or uh, some specific to within salesforce or within sap where i can move and learn analytics so that i can relate to things which power bi developer does and i can uh, also translate easily or i can call myself as an analytics person so so that's all about it if you if you want to know more about anything else you, anything specific so you can ping me in the comments and that was it from the video i hope this video will be helpful if you are kind of in a similar trajectory and you want to switch completely see you in the next one thank you for watching till here bye